four months. That's all that you have for BitSat 2026. And you have thousands of questions running around in your mind. Is J mains preparation actually enough for BitSat? And given that BitSat is now in April instead of May, how should my preparation be? How should my strategy be? Is English and logical reasoning actually that important? Can I just skip that entire part? The most important question of all. I am late to preparation and I am not prepared properly. Can I still crack BitSat in 2026 with a great score? We're going to answer all these questions and more in this video here today. If you're new here, my name is Hari. I'm a recent graduate from Bits Pilani. I got 340 in Bits out of 2019. We're going to answer all your queries in this video. Make sure to watch it till the end. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Before we move ahead talking about the roadmap of Bitsar, I'll give you a quick context on Bitsar and how the exam is supposed to be. The Bitsar exam in 2026 is going to be held in the month of April, not in the month of May. The total paper consists of 390 marks in total, which has sections in physics, 30, 30 questions in physics, 30 questions in chemistry, 40 questions in maths, 20 questions in logical reasoning, and 10 questions in English and logical English, right? And if you answer all of them, then you will unlock the bonus section where you will go and be given an additional 12 questions, which you can attempt and fetch extra questions, provided that you finish the existing 130 questions within a time span of three hours. And all of the questions will be of multiple choice questions. There won't be any numerical questions of any sort. And this is very different from the kind of papers that you will be attempting in J means because J means has only 75 questions and you will have numerical questions there as well, where, you know, it's fill in the blanks, numerical type, but Bitsat is not like that. And people have this misconception that, you know, BitSat is easier in terms of difficulty as compared to JE means. But if you ask anybody who wrote BitSat in 2025, they would tell you a completely different story. You see, JE means over the years has become slightly easier in terms of the general trend, whereas BitSat has been trying to increase its level and it has been trying to confuse the students in terms of the difficulty level. And even if you see the cutoffs of 2025 as compared to 2024, you understand the cutoffs has actually dropped. This is because of the increased difficulty in the papers. And how do we go actually go about navigating the increased difficulty? And how do we go about navigating the fact that, you know what, it is very close to the second attempt of J-means. The first attempt of Bitsat is actually very close to the second attempt of J-means. We're going to help you strategize to make sure that you do your level best in both, in J-means and in Bitsat. And this video is going to help you make sure that you do well in all three of them. So let's understand what is actually required in each one of them. Well, as far as board exam preparation is concerned, one of the most important aspects to it is how do you actually present your answers? How well you know the NCRT syllabus and how well you can actually go and actually buy hard a lot of the things and how do you actually present them in the best way possible? And as far as G means is concerned, there is a huge syllabus and the questions will be of medium difficulty level. And it primarily tries to test you on your ability to problem solve and your ability to understand NCRT topics in a deep fashion so that you can apply those concepts in your exam paper. Level of G means is definitely going to be higher than your NCRT level. And for that, you need to keep practicing a lot. And as far as BitSat is concerned, the questions are significantly higher, close to 130 questions. And what it actually tests you is your ability to solve questions really quickly and your ability to pick the right questions to solve from. And you have to make sure to understand that the level of questions in BitSat is not super easy anymore. If you look at certain papers in 2019, 2020, You'll understand the papers were slightly easier, but starting 2025, 2024, you'll understand that the level of questions have actually gone up a little bit. So you need to prepare at a J-means level questions for BitSat exams as well. So the rule for acing this is very, very easy. You need to solve questions at a J-means level, whereas you need to have the speed of that of someone who's preparing for BitSat and you need to have an NCRT level clarity so that you can use that to ace board exams and use that knowledge to apply in competitive exams like BitSat and J-Means. Now, what should you be focusing on in the month of December and January? You'll have to understand one most important thing, that your first attempt of J-Means is actually in January and you need to prepare for that really, really wisely. And if you don't do it, then it is going to take a huge toll on your confidence. It is going to 
make sure that you feel a little under confident for your board exams as well and you'll feel a little under confident for your bitside exams as well so try to ace j means first attempt to the level best possible so that you gain a lot of confidence for bitsat and you gain confidence for your board exams as well so practice a lot of previous year questions in j means practice mock papers go and attend exams in your test centers and your coaching centers so that you are well poised for your j means examination and another important thing to note is that you need to prepare for your board exams as well at this point of time make sure your ncrt is really thorough really good so that you can go and ace your board exams as well and this will help you in your j means preparation as well ncrt is very important for j means and board exams and with that a good advice right now at this moment would be to prepare short notes using your ncrt that will help you in your j means and your board exams and this will very much be handy when even when you prepare for bitsat especially while preparing for certain topics such as practical organic chemistry you know like they ask you questions from certain lab experiments that you've done for your practical examinations and it'll help you revise inorganic as well while preparing for chapters like p block surface chemistry and other exams and once your j means first attempt gets over you need to understand one more very very important thing your board exams are super important as well because you need to have at least 75 percentage aggregate in physics chemistry and maths so that you can even attempt with sat so if you don't qualify that criteria then irrespective of how good your bit sat score is you will not be considered eligible to get into bits pilani campuses so make sure you have that in mind this includes theory plus practical so don't skip your board exam preparation because it is super super important don't think that my je means went well so i can now chill out i don't have to worry about board exams i don't have to worry about je means part 2 because practicing for je means part 2 will actually help you in your bit sat a lot as well because the concepts and the level of questions for bit sat will be similar to that of je means from what we have understand previously and about the pattern of bit sat what is the level of vt just for across various subjects that is something we'll be discussing in the upcoming videos but make sure to understand that do not chill out after this phase keep practicing more mock papers both for bit sat and for je means during this phase the the 2 3 month time that you have should be used for honing your ncrt level knowledge so that you can use it for your board exams and improving your speed and accuracy and ability to tackle hard problems so that you can go and ace bit sat and je means part 2 as well if you're someone who's actually preparing for any of these exams then do check out the community link that we have posted below this is supposed to be the best community in india which will help you with the best mentors and best test series and best people who can guide you to your goal so if you are someone who's preparing seriously do check out the link in the comments if you have utilized the time from december till march properly then you will be entering april with a lot of advantages you will have your concepts cleared because your ncrt is strong you will have a strong problem solving ability because you've solved a lot of papers for j means and you will also be bit sat ready because you've solved a lot of mock tests both for j means and for bit sat as well the hidden gap to now ace bit sat in the april attempt is how do you ace english and logical reasoning where do you practice it from right so this is where we at cracket have come up with something very interesting in terms of helping you guys with english and logical reasoning and full syllabus mock tests as well so that you guys can go and ace the first attempt of bit sat very easily we have structured problems for english logical reasoning in other chapter wise tests and we also have video solutions for the mock tests that we have created which is in line with the bit sat syllabus so if you're interested in any of that do check out the link in the description do join the community as well so that you get access to the most unbelievable and most relevant stuff out there in the market as far as the last few days before j means and bitsat is concerned just keep revising the short notes that you have created in the months of january and february so that you guys can go and do really well while maintaining everything that you have learned across the last 4 months i know this is a very high level road map on what you need to be following for the next 3 4 months the next videos will be very very in depth in terms of what chapters to follow what concepts to prepare for what are the most high beat age topics that will help you in both bit sat j means and other competitive exams that you'll be writing so do check it out guys do follow the channel do subscribe to the channel as well we'll be coming up with a lot more interesting videos very 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 soon i'll see you bye bye